Three, two, one. Can we talk for a minute? What's that? I want to know your name. Can we talk? All right, what's up, y'all? <laughs> well, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blaze. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful... The sun is setting in Los Angeles, California. The smog is looking real smoggy. Mm. And it's and, and I love it. It's back. Here's the thing about it, right? <laughs> I hate when I'm in a fresh-ass <laughs> city. Like, when we... <laughs> I, now we talked about this before, but yeah. when when me and Rick were in Ohio, oh my god, and so the fu- fucking green, and, and it fresh. was green and fresh. <laughs> I was I got off the plane. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like it. It was cool for the first ten minutes. Then it was yeah. like, Ugh. no, I, I really enjoy it. But coming back to <laughs> right. the L.A. smog is like. <sighs> yes we've had fires Home. up north have you guys had fire season yet we 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 had a short one short one yeah, yeah. ours was yeah we had a rough one up north did it you was bad yeah yeah i had a home girl she was vlogging and uh her house was pretty close to the to the to the fires yeah, yeah. somebody was like uh they're too busy trying to keep uh corona going they forgot about fire season basically saying they sp- stage all of this shit ah. and then fires came like, uh. why you remind them stupid <laughs> hey not to get too into it though but no, i believe it a thousand percent <laughs> have you you've seen those videos where the fires cut off at like there's like a line where they cut off do you know what i'm talking about um you're talking about like when they burned that that white stuff that's on the grass not nah, it was all these remember when, okay so it was a bunch of fires going off and like yep. you know like last year like in, mm-hmm. the, in the hills and shit right mm-hmm. all the, near all the expensive houses yeah. right yeah and then there was like um and then there was like if you got the above view the fires really seem to cut off at like a, a specific line that wouldn't make sense if i don't understand why they didn't do that before what treat the grass with fire retardant oh. near the um expensive places oh that make that does make sense yeah. okay never mind conspiracy theory did it i mean <laughs> it, it still could well, no so so the theory was that like these were like plan to get rid of a certain amount of shit and they do like that? yeah yeah, yeah 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 there's a um, government there's, sanctioned controlled yeah, burns there, there's <laughs> there's a lot to that's a that's a heavy subject i'm not qualified to talk about it's all good well speaking about heavy subjects today's <laughs> g- <laughs> Damn. I, you know, I, I normally wouldn't. I don't Did like you say ro- he's a heavy subject. I don't like roasting people, mm-hmm. but like I feel but like whenever I'm around around the black all- people, wow. <laughs> wow, no, Tim. No, when I'm whenever I'm around the all deaf people, it's like it's uh. always like a vibe of like this to roast each other energy. You feel me? Yeah. And like I wasn't good on I here's the thing. When I went on roast me, mm-hmm. I didn't know that I was supposed to rebuttal. I thought I was supposed, supposed to just to sit there it. and take like like a hot seat. Let's just get laughed at, right? Hilarious. And then um, I probably should have watched a couple before I went on. Because <laughs> when I went on, I was like, oh, shit. I should probably have some comebacks right now. So everybody that watched was like, yo, Tim, what happened? You were so quiet. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But So I just didn't know. But um, <laughs> So now I'm going to take it all out on today's <laughs> guest. Hey, nah, who man. It wasn't even on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, I fuck with, I fuck with this dude heavily. Um, funny man. You might have seen him on All Deaf. You might have seen him doing his stand up thing. Make some noise for it to hear more. Yeah. What's up, dog? You goddamn right. You, you goddamn right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we sitting on couches. Yeah. Huh? Microphones. Huh? How's my mic sound? Oh, headphones sound too. You, we have headphones. Oh. If you want. Oh, we man. have headphones. We have alcohol, <laughs> water oh, bottles. Man. You guys know how to treat people. Man. I got this bottle just for you. Th- this for me? Yes. You knew. Would you, you can't take it with you. You a well, gentleman of scholar. You. Yeah, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it with me. Would you like to open it? Go, yes. Yeah, do I wouldn't take it with me. Please do. I would thank you. I wouldn't mind. I've been thirsty the whole time. So, And they were like, you want some water? I was like, no, I'll wait for some alcohol. To pass. <laughs> hey, man, uh, you know, hey, I'm glad you decided to come on and drink with us because not everybody likes to drink. We, so. don't, get, we don't get to drink much. Really? Yeah. I don't believe that at all. No, you'd be surprised. Yep. Of like with guests? Uh, with guests. Mm-hmm. Really? A lot of guests are like, you know, Rick doesn't drink at all. Right. Okay. And so, uh, but a lot of guests are like, mm, I'm, you know, I don't or I, I'm good. Or... That's crazy. Because hey. I will do 
Coke right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would do a bump in front of all your fans. Let's go. Not a lot. Just like on the inside of my thumb. That's just it. a bump. And you got so, crazy thumbs. Yeah. Yeah, I do, man. <laughs> they, they web. Like my dad was a duck or something. That's ridiculous. You know what's crazy? Speaking of web feet. Um, what is that, by the way? Uh, Tullamore Dew? Tullamore Dew. Tullamore Dew is are you gonna... an Irish whiskey. You... Uh, it's very delicious. Um, it pairs well with a lot of things, but I tend to do it neat or with tonic and five roses. I'm sorry, five, five roses lime juice. Just uh-huh. a splash of it. Oh, thank you. Five, yeah. Specifically five roses yeah. lime juice? Yeah, because other, other other lime juices, they're, they're, they're a little too sweet. Too limey? Oh, yeah. no, too, too sweet. Too sweet. Just not too limey sweet. enough. Yeah, not limey enough. I need the little, you know, because it's, about, it's a sweet whiskey. But it's super smooth. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Rick, do you want to? That boy made alcoholism sound uh, (laughs) so sophisticated. Rick is like, ooh. I I got hip to this when I was on tour about three years ago because I went for some J-Mo and they didn't have it. Mm. And, oh, where's my, where's that? Boom. Uh, Come across. Uh, They didn't have the J-Mo. The bartender put me on to this. He was like, this is what they actually drink at Iron. And ever since then, I was like, oh, snap. This, I never went back. Oh, I this is j reminiscent. Yes, but it's smoother. Cause like J-Mo got that kick when it's going down, like it kick your your uvula. The hangy yeah. thing in the back of your throat. Like yeah. On the way down, Dang I'm me. like, fuck out of here, right? <laughs> <laughs> but this is super smooth, man. And um, I loved it so much. I pitched myself to them, to the company. I had people retweet it. The company reached out to me. I took it up on myself to shoot a commercial, shot the commercial. They loved the commercial. It was like a mix between the most, interest, most interesting man and like just like some smooth shit, but it was like it wasn't just smooth. It was like funny too. Yeah, and they they loved it. So uh, now they're rocking with me. That's lit, man. Hey. Go yeah. after what you want in life. There you go, man. Hey, hey, real quick, let's talk about how winning season has returned at my bookie. Okay, winning season means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means insane props, epic bonuses, and the craziest cross sport wagers. At my bookie, winning season means watching live sports and betting on live sports all season long. Rejoice, my friends. The NFL has returned. That means action-packed Sundays and huge cash prizes. Who don't love that? Get in on the action. Use promo code NOCHASER and double your first deposit. New players get up to $1,000 in free play designed to add more excitement to the sport you love and the games you bet. Bet with the best this NFL season for your chance to win big. Use promo code NOCHASER at mybookie.ag and double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today only at my book all right guys i know people are in a funk nowadays you know it's a weird time we're living in is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals you know uh, we all feel a little funky during the pandemic but better help will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist you can start communicating in under 48 hours it's not a crisis line it's not self-help it's a professional counseling done securely online all right there's a broad range of expertise available which may not be locally available in many areas the service is available for clients worldwide you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor you'll get timely and thoughtful responses plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy all right therapy is good for you sometimes you just need to talk to somebody right better help is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. And I got a special deal for y'all. Visit their website and read their testimonials. And you can visit betterhelp.com slash T-I-M. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. All right. That's a special offer for no Chaser listeners, get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Tim. Um, you know, I always like when it comes to brands, I always be so like iffy about like reaching out. The wifey, mm-hmm. wifey's always down to reach out, but yeah. I'm always like, ah, I don't know if I want to reach out. And then let me tell you, the one fucking company I reached out to completely like was not like they like they ignored me completely. Mm-hmm. Really? Um, you ever seen those um the love sacks, those giant bean bags? <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh I'd seen Leanne V post a picture with this giant bean bag. Right. And I was like, okay, cool. They working with people. Dope, yeah. right? And I was like, ah, they hit me up, but and I hate to do this, but I, wifey wants one. I'm going to go ahead and email yeah. him, right? Hit him with the email, real professional. Like, hey, uh, you know, 
I hate to be that guy that says, I got so-and-so followers. Would you like to send me some? But I got so-and-so followers if, you're, if you would like to collaborate on a blah, 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 right? Uh-huh. Didn't say shit. I was like, she really wants one of these things. <laughs> I followed up. I was like, hey, just to follow up on my, Circling back. On my yeah. email here. Um, you're just wondering if blah, blah, blah. Never hit me back, right? Uh-huh. I was like, fuck it. I got a little bit of money. I'll buy one of these things, right? right. Fucking bought it, set it up. Cool. It's great. So then we post a picture. I went out of my way to Photoshop the name, their logo out of the picture because right. I didn't want to give them the satisfaction, <laughs> right. right? Tell me why when when Chia posted it, they commented, hey, love your picture. Would you could, Can we use this on our website? I was like, <laughs> I replied, I was like, are you guys serious? That's wild. <laughs> like, did you not read the tag? This isn't yours. <laughs> Bruh, I was so I got mad. this one from Costco, man. Yeah. Fuck out of here. And I even put in the captions, I was like, I'm not tagging them because they because they weren't trying to blah, blah, blah. And yeah. people were in the comments saying what company was from. And I was deleting all the comments. <laughs> like, fuck y'all, I man. Another I level. love that level of petty. <laughs> yes. I, I love it. I highlight it. You understand me? That's, that's my level of petty. Like, I'm the petty where... And this isn't specific for a brand. This is just my level of petty. Like, if you cut me off, I will follow you home. <laughs> Not on no creepy shit, right? <laughs> Not on no creepy shit. I just want to know where you stay, right? So, Because I'm going to come back. So I follow you home. I see where you park. I get. I write the license plates down because I need to make sure got I got to the, the right. That's not creepy part. That's not the creepy part, right? I leave there. I go to Target. I get a blank card. And then I fill it out. Dear asshole, <laughs> you cut me off when my daughter was in the car. Mm. That was fucked up. I hope you stub your big toe getting out of bed, going to the bathroom. P.S. Fuck you. And then I'll go back, put it on that windshield, and then I just wait. I wait for them to come out and you read it. You wait for the I reaction. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Bro, it's, it's like chewing your food and spitting it out. You that's gotta, true. You got to get that finished. Mm. I feel that. Yeah. Mm. But that's, that's the petty I am. I don't know creep shit, but it's just like, motherfucker, you got to know. Let me I, ask you. I wonder how many ring videos <laughs> have witnessed this. <laughs> Fuck, I know it exists. <laughs> you, you've really done this? I've done it. That's amazing. I, I actually made videos for it. Like, my daughter, I can call her because she's been with me in the car. She was like, can we just go home? I was like, nah, I got to go to Target real quick. <laughs> I got I to gotta get this asshole the car. I got to get the car. That's great. Yeah. It's, so listen, man, it's, it's all about integrity. I do things to the max. If you don't do some shit, do it right. And I do it on level 10 every time. Especially when you have time. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, guess what? I got an excessive amount of <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> Oh. Uh, this is my first time wearing a watch in like a month and a half because it's like why the fuck do I care what time it is <laughs> fuck it I'm only on time right now because I had someone to be today other That's than that gonna... well hey I appreciate you coming through man I appreciate the invite man of and course then, dog. a lot of people have got big and, and got funny style I didn't know Tim when he was blowing up I've only met him since he's been big <laughs> but like from getting bigger from wilding out from videos with J- Drake portrayed as <laughs> Justin Bieber he's always been the same cool cat man so you gotta respect that let me tell you something it's fake <laughs> <laughs> I'm really an asshole, asshole. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that no. one makes sense that one makes sense nah well, you know what man you know what it's because I don't feel like I'm I'm like I'm there yet I feel you I just I, <laughs> when, when I feel like I'm there oh, oh trust oh, me oh, I'm not man. replying to shit <laughs> let me tell you something Tim if I had the money I would have I would have took a hel- uh, helicopter here <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could literally stay on that building right there we could see it I would have took a helicopter here if I had the money <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like money's not gonna change me. Money's <laughs> definitely gonna fucking change. Don't know, nobody gets money to stay the same. No. You it, think you think Kendrick stays in the same neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you think no. he they- Money should change you? And and you know what? I talked to Kev about this um because you know Lil Wayne has a line where he's like <laughs> when you get rich then asparagus is yummy yeah. Yeah. and cause Kev posted something it was either about salmon or asparagus mm. and I was like bro like He's like, he was like, I don't, I never liked salmon until yeah. I, I could eat mm-hmm. at restaurants or whatever. I was like, bruh, there's a few items of food that Absolutely. when you can actually afford mm-hmm. to get them cooked right, yes. it's, that part. they're good now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know everything, I, everything I ate that was gross coming up was canned. Canned right. food is just gross. Right. Canned sardines, canned hash, like, break, nah, nah, that shit is gross. But when you got the money to do it... Boom, so you saying you got money now? Is what you saying? No, no, no. I do so not. You got a problem with ravioli? I hang with rich people. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I still fuck with ravioli. I still I, fuck with ravioli. Well, shit, man. Um, you know what? Like, I, I feel like I've 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 only really come across you on all death shoots. Right. That's about it. And uh, I've always enjoyed our 
shooting times together. It's always a good time. You had me on your Zooming with the homies. That was a great time as well. You had a hat on. I did. Uh, he did, <laughs> did. Did I tell you about this? No. He had a specific, like, not I, not a fedora, but, you know, like a Pharrell hat. Like a cool it was Pharrell a big brim. Okay. Yeah. It's a three and, inch or better. And what did Kev say? It was so funny. He said, you look like, um, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> uh... It's been so many, Tim. You came for me on the spot with one joke. The the the, the dark wing duck one. Oh, the dark. Oh, he said, oh, oh, my oh God. shit. Oh, yeah. That was what, what did he say? He 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 literally one time I had I used to wear those hats to work and he had the 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 theme song queued up and he came up to me <laughs> like dark, dark wing duck. duck. When there's trouble, when there's trouble you call <laughs> DW. And I had on a blue jacket that looked similar to like oh, the, cave the cave and everything. It was just, it was it was great, but it was horrible at the same. It's a horrible work environment. No, it's but that, toxic. no, but that day he didn't call you dark wing duck. He called you something. It was like it was a very. Uh, I was uh, uh, dark meat duck. duck. Dark meat duck. That's dark meat duck. Man. Man. That's good. I <laughs> I died. It is. Listen, the the roast that 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 come out of us just hanging together. Especially on zooming with the homies is ridiculous. Like I drew a picture of Kev on my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the beard and the, <laughs> the mustache, his eyes, because it's it, when he's bald, his <laughs> he looks like a thumb <laughs> with hair, and it, it was great, That's man. Hilarious. A lot of horrible stuff comes out of it, but it's so good in the moment. But yeah, if you didn't have confidence in the strong family unit, you would. <laughs> <laughs> it would be bad the next day. You read the headlines like, damn, he didn't know we was kidding. <laughs> where where are you from originally? St. Louis, man. St. Louis oh. by way of East St. I'm originally from East St. Louis, Illinois, uh, which is- So you're a Nelly a, fan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I won't never shit on Nelly. Like, right, Nelly right, put right, the city right. on for real. I'm not, I am, I'm not riding around listening to Air Force Ones right now. Right, but right, right. Like, when, when it, you know, you get that feeling of nostalgia, you know, I throw it on. I cool. throw, after a certain album, I stop before I get to Sweatsuit, because that album was just like, <laughs> The double album. Yeah, I was like, come on, my nigga. Like, don't. We, it took a long time for us to get up here. Don't fuck us over like that with a sweatsuit. He's just standing like this with the tank top on, flex. He's like, come on, come here, bro. We get it. You still in shape. So fucking what, man? When did you? Uh, when did you come to LA? I came in LA October second, two thousand and nine. I moved out here, and uh, yeah, man, I haven't really looked back. I thought about moving back a couple times, but I never really put any action to it. It's just like. Well, what for? You know what yeah, I mean? what for? You what out for? here? Like I, I came out here because like I felt like I was gonna hit a glass ceiling in St. Louis, mm. and there was only so much you could do in a city that doesn't really appreciate like entertainment and thinking out of the box. They want people to like just get jobs, and I was like, I'm not fit for it, bro. I, I taught seventh grade science for three years. Did you? Just, yeah, I hated it. Yeah, fuck the, them kids. The, the, <laughs> I was just gonna say, is it the kids part or the fuck science them part? Kids, bro. <laughs> Well, seventh grade is where, is where they start uh, feeling themselves. Oh my god, my daughter in seventh grade, I squared up with her like three times. Like, I dare you. I put some paper on my shoulder, like knock it off. I dare you knock it off. You knock it off, I'm gonna knock you out. My mama's I will. My daughter, and but she's taller than me now. Like she's she's fourteen. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's been fifteen next month, and she's been taller than me since she was twelve. Damn, at 12 right. actually we were high, like she we were eye to eye mm. but at like 13 and a half she hit a she's like a great a growth spurt and spout spurt spurt growth spurt i will Thank fuck you, up Nikki. some words if you let me <laughs> if you, you give me opportunity i'm fucking every word yeah, you, got, you got a whole show <laughs> i got a whole show about wording is hard yeah. i will fuck up every word but she hit a growth spurt and this little motherfucker she my, she's so fucking petty bro like she like puts the cereal on the top shelf <laughs> <laughs> and this is before we got our new place. Now we got like I got step stools around the house because she won't fucking stop, bro. She's so she's just a, she's a dick. And I know you shouldn't call your kids a dick, but yo, my um, daughter's a dick. A dick. Uh, you and my dad would have fun. My dad oh. told me the day that I could look him in his eyes, that was scary for me. I was like, oh my god. Yo. He's like, I will fight you. I'm like, I know. You so know. how is it dealing with the? She got to be. She's not going to school. She's home right nah, now. No, nah, no, nah, she's good. So my, my my wife works at home too. Uh, that's why we actually moved because we needed the, the the extra space. So I have an office. My wife has a space. She works, and my daughter she works at the table, and she's she's cool with it. Like last year when it started, I'm sorry, last school year when it started, she got the best grade she had gotten in the like last five years. Oh, word! And that let me know that like at school there's too many distractions for mm -hmm. her because she's a dick. So. She, you put her alone <laughs> and she's flaccid, she can't do shit. You can't do shit with a flaccid dick, right? True. Right? That's true. So true. she's just there doing her work, right? <laughs> so she got the best grades that she had gotten the yeah. last four years. I'm like, cool. Even if that shit had came back, we had already started looking at like uh, virtual high schools. This is a lot of 
virtual Damn. high schools out here in mm. LA. So we were planning on doing that anyway, but it just works out perfect like that. But all day she's like online, but she's also FaceTiming with one of our homegirls. Uh -huh. And then she's also like virtual gaming. Like she's like PC gaming at the same time. She's, she's fucking spoiled. Yeah, yeah. And smart. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I'm just like, use your powers for good. You fucking villain. Like put <laughs> yeah. the cereal up. She's a dick. <laughs> she's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but she's funny dick. though. That's what saves you said her. Dark wing dick. Dark wing. <laughs> <laughs> this runs in the family that's what saves her is that she's funny that's the only thing that like keeps me from putting her out that's crazy that and her mom damn so you got a 14 year old daughter that's crazy mm -hmm. Every, like I had a Patreon question they were like they were like uh, uh, Tahir has a crazy story he like left the house at a young age mm -hmm. and tell him to just tell the story that was it wait um, let, me, let me let me let me find her name because I feel like the Patreon people always want shout outs you know shout I, out to uh, more my, my Patreon too man follow uh, follow Tahir on Patreon Damn it. It's just five dollars, you know what I'm saying? That's literally less than what you're gonna spend on food. Okay, okay, so here we go. For to here, for to here. Yeah. As to here, um, oh, first of all, Christopher Blackman says as to here to invite Nikki Blades to zooming with the homies and maybe Rick too. But seriously, <laughs> maybe. But seriously, <laughs> ask about his early days as a 14-year-old leaving home. So I don't know this story. Okay. Um, I said I wasn't telling this story anymore. This okay, year. okay, then you fuck it then. Yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, because it's you, Tim. It's you. Right? You don't have to tell it, dog. It's, it's not even that. It's just like, it's one of those stories that it's really fucked up. Okay. And I never want people to like, like, I always wanted to get shit on my own merit. I okay. ain't never want to get nothing like, on oh some my pity God, shit. we feel bad for you. Tell nah. us about your story. Yeah. You came from such dark. It's like, motherfucker, we all got <laughs> paths of walks, of walks yeah. of life. Like, I just happen to handle mine a little different. So mm. at 14, um, 13, I got a young lady pregnant. Mm. Uh, 14, my best friend got killed inside my house. Mm. Uh, he was shot in the head while I was sleeping. Shit. Um, that summer, oh, right before the summer, my dad died. Uh, of cancer and then that summer I got shot in my back and then my son was born in October and I moved out the house right after he was born. This is when you were 14? 14. What the fuck? Yeah man. So I moved out didn't have any money anything so I had to work at a junkyard I would go to the junkyard pick up cans after I got off work, uh, got, got out of school to make money to pay for daycare and clothes and all that type of shit didn't have a car at that time so I was catching like four buses to go to school from school then go pick him up and all of that type of shit man um, I was paying her probably about a hundred and about a, between a hundred and a hundred fifty a week for daycare and shit. And then one time I was up there going to pick him up, and I got there early. And I was in the neighborhood. I was like, "Let me go check out this daycare I'm paying for." Mm. Kind of find out she's paying twelve dollars a month, not a hundred and fifty dollars every week. Okay, like yeah. she told me because she was on state assistance, and I didn't know. Uh. Right. So, um. Yeah, man. Um, I worked at a junkyard until I was old enough to get a job at White Castles. And I worked at White Castles. I would go to burgers. School. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. so I love good, White right? Castle burgers. Have you, ever, you ever been? I've been. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I go to I go to Vegas just for White Castles. Oh, That's some fat shit. I love it. Yeah, I, 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 buy, I buy the frozen ones. I did that when I worked. So <laughs> when I first moved my wife out here, uh, I had to get a job because like I was just I was doing okay on my own. But like now I got two other people so that be hungry every fucking day. <laughs> Dicks, <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it like an overnight job. At, at uh Walgreens and I used to get the White Castles from there. It just don't take the same though. No, not, it doesn't. It's not the same. It definitely doesn't. You um, ever been to White Castle, Nick? Mm -mm. Oh man. People always say like people want pe people got some things to say about White Castle sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I get it. It's understandable. But here's the thing about it though. It reminds me of these um frozen cheeseburgers my parents used to buy from Costco in bulk. And um and that just should, it just takes me back to it. It is. It's a, it's a level of nostalgia with it. Like my mom used to go <laughs> when I was a kid. Uh, cash her cash her check, and then she would always bring me back like two double cheeseburgers from White Castle. So like for as long back as I can remember, that's what she did. So like, every time I take a bite, like it makes me think of those old times. But mm -hmm. like, you know, it's what it is. So yeah, but yeah. So fourteen was a year. I lost my best friend. Shit. My dad died. I got shot. I had a kid. I Lord. moved out. So hell of a you know, year, man. It was right. And then, was, uh, no, go ahead. I was just saying I, I got her pregnant like on my second time having sex. I was like, damn, this sucks. <laughs> Pull out game weak. Bro. I had a condom on. What? <laughs> I know, right? I know. I, sh I, I know. It broke? I don't know. I, I I think I got a couple pumps off before I put the condom on. I ain't gonna hold ah. you. And I was 14. I couldn't hold back. My whole back game was weak as fuck back then. <laughs> Damn. I ain't know nothing about thinking about thinking about something other than what you're doing. Yeah. I didn't know the like mind trick game. I was like, oh, fuck, Doctor Who. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> at what point were you like, okay, I'm gonna start doing stand up. Um, I'm gonna start doing comedy. And then, um, you know. 
I graduated in 2002, high school in 2002. I had saved up enough money to get a DNA test and got a DNA test, found out my son wasn't my son. But by oh. the time I found out, it was like a week before my senior grad trip. Shit. So I, at that point, because I hadn't planned on going to college, I was going to stay there and take care of my son. By that point, all the scholarships was gone, all financial aid was gone, all that type of shit. So I worked at White Castles for another year, uh, got my shit together, started going to college around 2003, I think was the first time I hit the stage. But I wasn't taking it seriously in St. Louis, mm-hmm. man, because like all I knew was like Cedric and a couple other people. And I knew I really wanted to act too. And my mom was like, "Yeah, well, if you do comedy, you're gonna get pigeon hell and anyone that wanna put you in those no serious roles. So I was I was literally going by Rob the Entertainer. Rob the Entertainer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where what where's Rob from? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about all that. Sigh. It's, it's my it's my legal first name. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Robert. Okay. That, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And everything's wrong with it. Nobody is you would not laugh. You'd be like, welcome to the stage. Robert Moore. It's like, oh shit, he finna fuck some taxes up. My name is Tim. Dude, but like <laughs> you're Tim though, dude. Like Tim as an Asian name is not as bad as Robert <laughs> for a black name, dude. Okay. Sure. Cause like my nickname and my, my fans do it just to fuck me, fuck with me. But my nickname, like my family calls me Bob, Bob Bob. That's hilarious. Or Jeans Boy. Like those are completely white jeans, jeans? boy. So my mom's oh, name is Emma Jean. Jean. Oh. oh, so my granddad never called me by my name. He only called me Jeans boy. <laughs> That's it. I thought you meant like jeans. Yeah, oh, no. like you used to wear a lot of <laughs> denim. You be wearing jeans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, denim Levi ass. Was my sponsor. Don't hate. <laughs> Appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you uh, you were doing stand up in St. Louis, yeah, yeah, but I wasn't taking it serious. I wasn't writing. I wasn't in clubs regularly, man. I didn't really start taking that shit serious until I moved out here. To be honest with you, word. I moved out here and I saw Chris Spencer in a, in a Range Rover. I was like, how the fuck he get that? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, he right, and all that type of stuff. I was like, okay, well maybe I should start taking the shit a little more seriously. Okay, and that's when I hit the ground running. And then um, I mean, I took it like a I want to say a year off, but I had previously before I moved out here, I used to work with Truth, the smoking awareness campaign. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I've done crazy some commercials shit, and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I was a, I was a marketer for them for two years, and then. But you're years. such a heavy smoker. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I did it while on the off seasons. <laughs> <laughs> In 2010, they hired me as a tour manager. So I was a tour manager for Truth for 2010. So that took me away from LA for about eight, eight, nine months. Um, I was still living here, but I like they had put me in like an apartment in Atlanta. Then we toured from like. June to like September and I came back in October and yeah, it was cool. Damn, son, how you liking LA life? I mean, it's expensive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay this play though. That's how I look. I mean, that's all we know. So Yeah. Yeah. So you you were originally from here? Yeah, I grew up. I mean, I was born in Montana. But I've been out here the since I was a baby. Don't worry, about, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, Bob. The fuck you did. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out. Okay, uh, quick, quick tangent. Uh, my dad went. My dad went to. Uh, he visited Montana on some random shit one right. time. He loved it. Loved how quiet it was. And yeah. then um, started going to art school out there. Right. All right. And okay. then uh, met my mom in Thailand. Brought her back to Montana. Had me. Yeah. And then they moved out. Let me tell you something. That sounds like a kidnap story. Because <laughs> nobody's gonna fucking look for somebody in Montana. That's Keon cool. told me that he went to high, I mean, he went to college in Montana. I was like, the fuck are you doing really? in Montana? Oh, he, was like, shit. he went to like a school and it was like just an army town and they had the school. So it was like, it was just, he was like, it was tons of chicks and all of this type of shit. I was like, yeah, but it's still fucking Montana. I, I haven't been back since I was born. Really? I, I want to just to be like, yo, I was born here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My parents got this story. My mom tells me not to tell it. So that makes me think it's real. Uh, <laughs> she says she says we left because they it was a C-section and they weren't ready to pay all that. And the hospital bill was crazy. So my mom says they left because the hospital bill is crazy. And they say it's a joke, but they also tell me not to tell that story. <laughs> so uh, if it's real, you didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> you just wheeled your mom out in the wheelchair. Yeah, we're going to go smoke real quick. We'll be right back. When I pull up in Billings, Montana for a, a lake visit, don't don't Yo, tap my pockets. You. Pull in Billings and get a bill. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Billings, that's, the, that's where the airport is too, right? Like that's the only airport I know in I Montana is Billings. So. so, but yeah, I've been in LA my whole life. Damn, that's crazy. 
Right. What's good, y'all? I know we're all feeling a little stinky. You know, everyone gets a little stinky. You've been in the house, you haven't showered, you get a little funky, right? But who wants to put those chemicals all in their body? That's why I F with native deodorant, all right? Native deodorant doesn't just block odor better, it's made better. It has ingredients you've heard of like coconut oil, shea butter, tapioca starch, and it's vegan and it's never tested on animals, all right? Switching to an aluminum free deodorant odorant like native doesn't mean you have to sacrifice on odor protection okay native will keep you smelling and feeling fresh all day long native is risk-free to try every product comes with free shipping within the u.s plus free 30-day returns and exchanges so see why so many people love native and check out the over 14,000 5 five-star reviews me and chia love it chia uses it all the time i use it all the time personally i like that cucumber and mint you know what i'm saying it reminds me of a nice fresh majito majito I love it, all right? And just for y'all, I got a special deal, okay? Go to nativedeo.com slash nochaser or use promo code nochaser at checkout and you'll get 20% off your first order, okay? That's nativedeo.com slash nochaser or use promo code nochaser at checkout for 20% off your first order. So yeah, uh, all we know is LA, San Francisco, expensive living life. Yeah. So, but I, I constantly am on Zillow at three AM, looking Yo. up houses in Atlanta and fucking yeah. Texas uh, and yeah. Mississippi, seeing what I could get. Make you so angry. <sighs> you the so only way angry. I would do it is if like we all went out there as a group, like me, Kev, Tony, right. you, uh, Batch, everybody. We're like, yo, let's just let's buy this all this land. And that's inhabited and let's create our own shit, like our own schools, our own banks, all that type of shit. That would be the only way to do it. Cause like I don't want to just move out there by myself. I told my wife I can't go to Atlanta by myself. Like if I'm filming a movie in Atlanta, you gotta be there. Right. It's it's just too much. It's too much ass available. And <laughs> I, I gotta be honest with myself. Mm. Like you ain't gotta do nothing either, but be handsome and straight most of the time. <laughs> he said most of the time. They be like, ah, I can't take down low, but how often are you straight? He'd be like 78%, you'll do it. Like I'm not there. Yeah, I'm not. I would not fare well. When I stayed in Atlanta for the job, I was like, it was in, back then it was nothing to do but like strip clubs, the mall, and like right. bars and shit like that. And like literally within like a month and a half, I probably had like probably like four or five new bodies. And I just was like, this this isn't safe. Ah oh, man. This Damn. isn't safe. I use I use I use kind of though. I don't want to think like I was nah, just those those kind of bodies. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count to here. <laughs> Condoms count. Condoms count. Uh, sure. Condoms. Condom sex is just clothes burning with no clothes. That's all it is. Just a lot of. Clothes, just, would you say clothes burning? Clothes burning. What's clothes burning? What's that mean? It's, dry it's like yeah, dry humping. That's oh, what we, call it. we call it in the Midwest clothes burning. It's Interesting. Like, Y'all weird. Rubbing. It's rubbing. It's rubbing. It's rubbing. Uh, you know, there's that. They say uh, condom sex is like turkey bacon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. it's, it's uh, it does the trick, but it's just not as it's not the same. It's not oh, as good. Turkey bacon is delicious. It's condom not. sex is not. It's turkey not. bacon is 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 okay, but co- compared to regular ass. <laughs> Pork bacon uh, <coughs> doesn't compare. Turkey bacon, you don't want to lick your fingers afterwards, though. I don't know what kind of turkey bacon y'all be eating. <laughs> so maybe I'm just fat, fat. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. My daughter likes turkey bacon more than like pork bacon, too. Really? Yeah. She's just, I was like, more and more you show me, I should fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a dick she is. <laughs> she's a dick. I swear to God, she's a dick. So You know what it is, is I really like. Uh, fatty things yeah, uh, too. like eating like fatty shit mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so that's, thing, I, I, that's why I really like uh, like a thick piece of pork bacon it's yeah. so fatty you know what I'm saying yeah, so good yeah with some pork belly oh mm-hmm. come on man. man and I know I shouldn't eat it people are like you gotta cut this shit out you already got high blood pressure but like motherfucker I know okay I take the pills I know I got high blood pressure ah. but let me tell you this we're gonna die from something all right, I'd rather die with high blood pressure, full as fuck, yeah. right? Than try to eat this healthy ass <laughs> life and kale smoothies every fucking day, and you still walk outside and get hit by a fucking bus at thirty eight. It's like man. Man, I could have been eating pizza every day. Facts, man. You I'm, got high blood pressure? I do. I got high cholesterol. Oh, sh- how you like one hundred and thirty? Look, um, pounds. I mean, not years. Oh, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. That uh, that's what people think, right? Yeah, but uh, it's really the diet. It's really the diet. Wow. You know, because I, you know, I eat a lot of like you know fatty food. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely, you know, um, like my doctor told me to like lay off like the fried foods yeah. and the cheese. I mean, I was already kind of trying to lay off cheese, but right. like she was like, chill off the red meat. Cause I love like a good, like fatty steak. Mm. And, uh, you know, and here's the thing about it. Here's, here's why I fucked up. Right. Because like I'm out my, I think my shit went left 
when I was like, if I'm eating bougie ass <coughs> restaurants, yeah, this shit's healthy. Yeah. It's good quality mm. ingredients. You thought because it was expensive, it was healthy, but mm. I then I didn't I didn't realize that like everything's so buttery yeah. and all the sauces are very fatty. Yeah, and so like now my cholesterol is high. Even though, like, yeah, like I'm not like overweight, yeah. but my, you know, but like, there's not my not my blood flow is not yeah, right. It's thick. You got milkshakes running through your veins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. I get. It. I understand that thinking, but you also got to remember, like, cocaine costs more in Beverly Hills than than it does in K Town, but doesn't make it any less <laughs> damaging to the insides. It's just more expensive. You're like, oh, well, I got this cocaine from Beverly Hills, so this must be. <laughs> to hear, I, I'm cocaine. learning that to hear likes cocaine. No, <laughs> like an LA no. girl. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need any new habits. I've been offered it a number of times, politely declined. I just, I don't. I, I'm scared of. I'm scared that that I would like it too much. Yeah. And I, I heard it makes you go your wee wee go down. Really? Yep. I heard I that from that. a couple of people who do it regularly, and they was like, "Yeah, you ain't fucking with it if you on cocaine." Yeah, <laughs> I was I, like, well, "Why you do it?" That's what I'm saying. I already deal with that, so like, I'm I'm, I'm good. Up there. <laughs> Speaking of which, make sure bluechew.com slash no chaser. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely got a blue Bluetooth sponsor. I don't know where they're gonna pull it in this shit, but uh, yeah, uh, they they bring it to your house in discreet packaging. No awkward <laughs> visits with doctors. <laughs> no waiting rooms. No appointments. Any of that. They have online physicians like, that will he's take ready everything. For his endorsement. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I do it too. I'm, I'm on Bluetooth. I got the subscription. I'm not even kidding. And Enjoy your cocaine <laughs> with Bluetooth. <laughs> See, now they not can't. Now they can't. Now it. they're like, damn. We was gonna give them all the monies, but they brought up. They we told them not to do that. Ah, uh, shit, man. Well, well, uh, that that's hilarious. <laughs> um, you know, and that, you know, like that's the thing with like getting older, right? It's like all these things kind of sneak up on you. Oh man. Cause I didn't even realize, you know, that I would do de- like, cause my dad, my dad also has high blood pressure, yeah. but not high cholesterol. Mm. So I got the high cholesterol. Um, and my, and I, and, and I just wasn't really even going to the doctor like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause you, you kind of feel like, Oh, I'm, I'm good. I like, feel all right. I feel all right. right. And then, and, and even my pops, my pops has the same mentality that you were like half joking about where he's mm-hmm. like, you know, why am I gonna, you know, uh, constrict myself to these mm-hmm. rules or regulations? Like yeah. Let me just, I'm gonna die anyways, yeah. right? My dad would always, I would always be like, Dad, go to the doctor, please. And he'd be like, ah, I just need five more years and I'll be okay. <laughs> and I'll like, and you know, then he finds out, you know, he's damn near, you no, know, he's diabetic now. Oh, he just shit. found out. He didn't even know because we were like, we're like, can you go to the fucking doctor, please? And find mm. out he's diabetic. And he's like, uh, but you know why I, I want he wants to eat what he wants to eat yeah. right yeah. and then but then he's putting all this pressure on me to have grandkids yeah. and finally i'm like okay bro why am i giving you a grandkid if you're just gonna die in five years i'm not about to subject my child to a cool ass granddad yeah. mm-hmm. just to strip him away yeah right away yeah he's like oh now you're making me feel guilty i'm like good <laughs> you dick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true though. My mom, um, my mom has put off going to the doctor for so many years because she wanted to. Uh, I think she said she wanted to get life insurance first, and she was afraid that if they, if she had went to the doctor, she had pre existing mm-hmm. conditions, mm-hmm. they wouldn't give her as much. She was like trying to take care, trying to take care of me and my daughter. I mean, not me and my sister. And I'm like, yo, my sister's straight. My sister, but is in isn't in entertainment business at all. But she's really good with money. So like my sister's like, she's up. She's up there. She's right. a she's a nurse, and her her husband was in the air force. They they did all right. They just had two babies, so they straight. And me, I mean, I'm just like, you know, I'll be alright. I'm gonna land on my feet one oh. of these days. <laughs> uh, but I'm like, you should go to the doctor because like she's I've seen over the years her walking change, mm-hmm. and it's like she got uh, what they call it hammer toe, like, and she won't get this. This looked at, I'm like, you need to go to the doctor. It's like, nah, I'm okay. What's hammer toe? What's that? It's like when you got this bunion, that motherfucker's like making a left yeah. turn. Word? It's yeah. like that on your foot. Yeah, what? it's like, yeah. And so she always wears the same shoes. You're like, these are comfortable. I'm like, you need to go to the doctor <laughs> and get that shit shaved off. Like my mom has always had access to money, but act like she was so poor. Mm. Like my mom's been a teacher mm. her entire life. My entire life, she's been a teacher. And it's like, she's had insurance. She's had cars. She had a state of paycheck. 
but she was still shopping at the Goodwill. It's like, would you stop, stop <laughs> yeah. being poor? What are you working for? <laughs> what, what is the purpose? Of, what's the purpose of this? But she's always stop being poor. Just stop being poor. Like I get like being frugal, but you're being poor. Like there's no reason we should be eating sardines. You you make sixty thousand a year you're, you're in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? But she's just always been that way, man. She's just never been. Like into the flash stuff. So like it's like I took her to London um two years ago and it was her first time going out of the country. Took oh, her to word. London, uh took her to Paris, and then we went to Barcelona too. Oh wow. And this was like when we were doing the tour with Kev. So mm-hmm. we were already gonna be over there. So it was just like, all right, well, let's just fly and knock these places out. We did all of them like four days and then we came back and did the tour, uh, the dates, and it was just dope. Like, How she was, was Paris? Really Paris was um Racist Poor. as fuck. You said racist as fuck? Racist as fuck. Word? I, mean, I would never go to Paris. Are you serious? Oh, it's so fucking racist. But it's not just like racist to black people. They're just racist to anyone that's not a natural That's born, not there. Okay. I, I, I've heard that. That's the stereotype, yeah. actually. Yeah. That they yeah. hate Americans in general. Yes. yes. Because I was going to say, because look, I've been to London. London's, London's great, but it, it's it's just it's just rainy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's rainy and the food isn't... isn't oh, oh bland yeah. as fuck. Yeah. London. I fucking love London, but your food is ass. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you go to Nando's. Did you go to Nando's? I didn't go to Nando's. Uh, Nando's and Dixie's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dixie's fried chicken. Fire. Word like that? I'm yes, going there. I yes. know that there. But uh, I've never been in Paris, so I was yeah. wondering what you experience. Ass, bro. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Like, like the visuals. Oh, it's amazing. Even the graffiti is like the artists went to art school for the graffiti. <laughs> like, 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 this fucking vigilante is amazing. This thing is worship being back in that. But everything, like, it was just... And another thing is like, bro, like, you know, growing up a minority, especially like carrying the, the plight of the black civilization, all that, like, you don't want to see art that constantly depicts you as a lesser than. Like, okay. and all the art in the Louvre was that. It was like ah. pictures of black people in like just like very docile positions, always doing stuff like this, or I handing see. a tray to a group of white people. Mm. It's like, bro, like I don't want to see that shit. Right. Like I've 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 seen the movies, I've I've read the history, I did it on my own because they ain't gonna teach it in school. It's just like, bro, that type of shit infuriates me. Mm. And it's like the Louvre is so fucking big. You need three, four days to go through the Louvre. Like, is that big? It's just fucking huge, man. It's like Disney World. Yes. Yes, but for yeah. boring ass adults <laughs> that don't want you getting too loud. And all this shit is fake. The Mona Lisa, man, that fucking shit is the size of notebook paper. I know. It's small as fuck. Yeah. No, Bro, it's so small. It? No, yes. it's like it's like this. It's small as fuck. Yeah. And so like you can't get close to it because they have like the the ropes around it. Um, probably like like probably eight to ten feet away from the wall. Mm-hmm. Like you the ropes, unless you're in a uh, That's a wheelchair. Far. Yeah. Unless you're in a wheelchair. Oh, so um, I put my mom in a wheelchair and we got past the ropes. We got a close to And then you it. sat on top of her. No, and then I, I took a <laughs> selfie of just the Mona Lisa and she thought it was, she was in it. It was like, ah, I got you. <laughs> she wasn't in it. It was just the Mona Lisa. Though. That's hilarious. <laughs> but it was dope. Like the visual was dope. The Eiffel Tower uh, was super dope. Um, but yeah, man, like it was just, <clears throat> it was just like, you felt it. I'll Word. say that. Interesting. And Interesting. it was like, we were spending money. And they was like, so we don't kill. You should go to Thailand, bro. I want to. You should go tell him. Because we don't kill. <laughs> we don't kill. We do not kill. We do about not you. care. It was like you're smoking a cigarette next to a sign that said no smoking. And I was like, you ain't supposed to be smoking. Shut up and me I was like, fuck you and your Mazda Miata. <laughs> <laughs> I used to always want a Miata. Did you? On Not purpose? gonna lie. Yes, on purpose. Oh my god! As a little so as, as a little ass kid. I'm so glad you grew up and grew out of that. I did. I did. I did. I really did. Mazda <laughs> Miata is the car for villains, like for French <laughs> villains that like tie women up on train tracks. <laughs> I thought they were so cool as a little kid. I don't know why. Steal money with bags with the SS on the front of it. Like that's that's who the Mazda Miata is. Mmm, I got some in. Wear a hot waist of slacks. But yeah, you should go to Thailand. You you ever been to uh, any types of Asia before? I have. I went to me, Tony Baker, and Nate Jackson. We did um, uh, comedy for the troops, and we did uh, South Korea. We did Tokyo. We did uh, Iwakuna, Okinawa, and one more place. I can't remember. But yeah, we did. Damn. Some See, I never been to Japan. That shit was fire. Bro. I know. I heard. I, I know. Ate so much shit. I tried dog. You lying? No, man. That shit is like, like that. it's like a no, but like it's a, it's a thing. That's a delicacy yeah. there. Like they sell this shit on the street. Where corner. they have dog forms in South Korea? In, in, oh, in South Korea. Yeah, South Korea. Like this shit is you get it like street hot dogs, like like that. Yeah, they be like hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, but they really mean like a dog. Like uh, for real? Yeah, they be like hot rot waller, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for real? And yes. How seriously. was it? 
I didn't try it. I'm lying about that part, but they do have the food like that. Man. I couldn't try it. I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It's like, nah, I mean, we got no, a dog. I can't no, do it. No, so this. I, I know there are very specific parts of, 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 uh, of like Korea and Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, where you can, I think, and, and, and I think, uh, I, I forget where exactly, where like they do that. Um, but damn, I didn't know it was like mm-hmm. just on the street like that. Yeah. Yeah, the same way they got like street vendors and shit like that. They had the shit on the sticks and all that shit. Here's the thing, right? Uh, for not Asian people, you know, you know, it might be. Here's the thing, right? It's like it's it's like it's like there's parts of the South where they're cooking up possum and shit. Yeah, we're not eating possum everywhere in yeah. the United in America. You feel yeah. me? So it's like that, right? Where it's like you go to a specific part of South Korea. Yeah, and but you didn't try it though. No, I didn't try. I didn't, and I didn't judge it off of that either. Like it's it's exactly that. Like yeah. certain people eat raccoon, certain people eat possum. Like yeah. some people eat squirrel. I ain't never had rabbit. I ain't doing none of that shit. The furthest <laughs> I've adventured in like in food is like like. Alligator, like down in New Orleans and shit like that. But like, oh, that's, I, I had alligators. Yeah, it's too it gamey for me. I don't like that shit. No, but here's the thing: when I had alligator, different parts of it tasted different. Yeah. Oh, really? Like the the legs tasted more uh, chickeny. Okay. And then the tail tasted almost like steak. Really? Yeah. The, the it's jaw, a lot of muscle in that. <laughs> the jaw of it. it you had tasted, an alligator jaw, bro? They told me like this is the best part. It tastes like chicken. And fish at yes. the same time. Isn't that crazy? That's how, that's, 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 that was his it, diet. It, and it is surfing <laughs> turf on its own. <laughs> if you think about it, Jesus. like they live in the water and on land. That's crazy. Yeah. That's I, I didn't. I tried that when I was in New Orleans. Um, I will say that I didn't know that like curry was so big, like curry house is so big over in Japan. In Japan yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like they have one spot that looks just like the Waffle House. It's got the brown and yellow color scheme and everything. The seating and all that shit is just like the Waffle House. Mm-hmm. Except you press a button, they come to the table and take your order and shit like that. Yeah. The shit was fire, bro. Mm. I had some of the best curry in my life. In I'm Japan. so yeah, it was like Japanese it was brown, curry. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro, that shit was so, so fire. They put that shit over that rice. I was like, yes, I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Listen, I turned so LA and then I'm gonna fuck this food up on my mama, cuz like, like oh, this curry right here. Hey, cuz <laughs> hey, on mama's here? hey, cuz hey, bring another one of these over to the table, cuz. Hey yo, cuz son. <laughs> this shit fire, cuz son. I was really on that. I got a tattoo and everything when I was there. I got the jet life tattoo, like that? bro. I, I fully immersed myself in the culture. Like Man. I was just hoping nobody took a picture. It was like appropriation. I was like, I'm just trying to embrace it, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, they're not gonna call you out over there because they're all they're all trying to be black out there. Yeah, yo, I got my hair cut at the spot. If this uh I think we were in uh Okinawa yeah. when I got my hair cut and I went to this barbershop and motherfuckers was playing Wu Tang loud, yeah, loud yeah. in that bitch. Everybody looked like you, Tim. Like motherfucker, <laughs> stand on the step stool to cut my fucking hair, right? <laughs> Not even bullshit. But he gave me one of the tightest fucking fades, bro. My shit was so crispy. I mean, Japan is so uh, they really they love hip hop culture yeah. so yeah. much. I mean, Wu Tang is fitting because they. I mean, they yeah. Chinese <laughs> names, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Facts. Okay, here's 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 oh here's something, bro. A quick. I've never told this story. Oh right? shit! When when ba, 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 ba. When, <laughs> when, super, super. when a few of like it was like I think it was um, Ghostface mm-hmm. and a, a handful of and it might have been Raekwon. A few Wu Tang members came on Wildin' Out. Right, mm-hmm. I was on the opposite team, <clears throat> and DC was like, you know, you should say to them that would be crazy. You need to say, you know, blah blah blah. Y'all took your whole style from Asian people, like some some bar like that during the wild style. You you, you took your whole shit you, from Chinese people. You trying to be Asian, blah blah blah, and um and I was like that would go crazy, mm. but at the same time I'm like. If people on Twitter are still coming at me for cultural appropriation, yeah. I'm not about to come at Wu Tang yeah. for say, for using some Chinese like names. I'm like, I'm not about to do that. Yeah. And like, even like while we were in the Wild Style, DC was tapping me like, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not doing that because like, first of all, I respect these dudes so much, right? right? Because in even though it's all jokes, yeah, I was like. I'm not gonna do that, dog. <laughs> I was like, really? Like, the people come at me at the, uh, for the appropriation shit. I'm gonna be like, you motherfuckers yeah. jack my shit. Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. I just though. picture you standing there like this and shit, wondering if you should do it. You hear Eminem in your head. Is that? Is that? Is that? Palms are sweaty. <laughs> he want to get one shot. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, I'm not gonna do it. The music stops. Mom's, shit. mom's chow mein. 
<laughs> I'm not doing that, bro. Yeah. I'm like, and yeah, the crowd would have loved it, but I was yeah. like, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I mean, you don't, you don't have to take all the low hanging fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. you don't have to do all of it, man. Yeah, you know, you know, well, you know so that's what we did on Wild and Out. It was, yeah. it was, it was a fun so time. Fun. Yeah. It was a fun time. Yeah, it was. It was, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I, I really, you know, you should go to Thailand because yeah, I want uh, to. Thailand is lit. They love foreigners out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of um, Asian countries, similar to European countries, they're very like Ugh, about. They can mm-hmm. be very like mm, about foreigners, but yeah. Thailand is all about it. They love foreigners. They love like visitors. They they, they just they're very just they're just open. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you should go, bro. You'd have a good time. I would do. I would do it. How how you've been before? I assume, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So like when I was in Japan, mm-hmm. we were uh, I forgot where we were at, but we were like at the bottom of Mount Fiji, right? And at this point, we had a Fuji. Guy, Fuji. Why right? Fuji? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Fiji's the uh, water. The water. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, but like, shit was so quiet. Mm. Like, they don't really be talking on the streets mm. like that, not talking loud. They don't be talking on the subway, mm. on the train. Uh, like motherfuckers don't be getting loud. You like it's disrespectful to blow your horn, all that shit. Like it's Thailand like that, or can you be nah, a more loud as fuck? No, Thai people <laughs> are pretty pretty loud, bro. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize, right? Because um, tr- like a lot of like traditional like Asian family mm-hmm. people will come at me and they'll be like, "Yo, how do your parents feel about you making all these dick jokes and you know <laughs> you saying all this reckless shit online?" I'm like, "Bro." I got it from my parents. <laughs> right. Because like Thai people are, they just like, they really like dirty jokes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I grew up going to like family dinners and not only families, like, but all my, my parents' homies mm-hmm. where it was all like, basically like penis and vagina jokes. Mm-hmm. They, and, they, and they would turn around to me and be like, I team don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was all in Thai. But I'm like, look guys, you can only talk about this oyster so many times before I know you talk about some pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like I got I you know that's that's just where that's the where the the sense of humor is. Yeah. You feel me? So um, I think Thai people and Thai families are like you know compared to I say like a Japanese family or like yeah. a Korean family because I dated mm-hmm. a Korean girl it was very like they don't talk about none of that yeah. shit. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's different. You that's feel crazy. me? So uh, that's why I always recommend to people like, yo, Th- you guys would have fun in Thailand because it's like, it's so much more laid back. Yeah. So that's what I need. I can't imagine growing up in Japan and not having porn, like access to like, <laughs> like it's, porn. It's no, it's porn in Japan. Is it? I feel like it's very yeah, like, a ton of it. you never watched no Japanese porn or dog? I, I didn't. I mean, like, you know, they'll label it as that, but I don't know if it's really coming out. I mean, I was just looking at, I was judging it off of all the stuff I read about, like ah, uh, they have certain stuff banned on the internet over there. Well, like, the Japanese just... porn for the longest time was was pixelated. Uh, That's okay. why, with to this day, if you look up some Japanese porn on like Pornhub or yeah, yeah. or XNXX or Spank Bang or all my faves, xvideos.com, uh, yeah, xvideos, <laughs> all the genitalia is pixelated because uh, even though the porn was was heavy, yeah, they they was still like. They felt like this was too vulgar. Uh, like, yeah, 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 it's too much. You can much. say the titties, but that, 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 come yeah. on. Yeah. Can she grow some more hair? Is it any way to grow hair in 10 minutes? <laughs> can can, we can she get some more hair? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I get that, though. Like, I got a lot of my shit from my family growing up. And I grew up in a very religious, like, family. Like, my aunt. I give her all the praise for keeping me in the church because like the streets was calling. Like all my like it was literally my aunt, and my uncle, my uncle that married my my aunt. They were the ones that kept me like grounded and rooted in like some type of positivity. Cause my uncles was really about that life. My uncle sold dope to his brother because he was like, he gonna buy the shit from somewhere. I'd rather him get the shit from me and I know what's in it, right? Wow. Mm-hmm. And keep the That's money where in the, the cocaine problem comes no, from. No, 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 no. This is crack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine is a rich man drug. I'm from East St. Louis. We did crack, baby. <laughs> get it together. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, it was crack. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, like, like that's that's what I was raised in. Like when I got shot, it wasn't like I wasn't even doing anything. It was just like association. And that was really just wrong place, wrong time. Right. I got kidnapped. I forgot to tell you that I got kidnapped getting off the bus because my uncle was moving that shit and they thought that I knew what the dope houses were so oh, they got shit. me coming off the bus tied me to a chair and an abandoned house set me on fire trying to get the information what from the it fuck? that's the shit that like I went through so like going to like the skating rink and getting in gang fights and motherfuckers putting socks and locks and tying it and hitting people I got Damn. stabbed in a fight like that's the shit I was so like if I could have went if I would have went another way people would have been like oh I get it he was raised and all that but right. it was thanks to my aunt like and I really feel like like that's what really kept me cool is like like being somewhat having a religious base and then also just wanting more. 
Like yeah. I saw what my uncles went through and I just like, I knew I wanted more. Yeah, so right. it, it forced me to work a little harder. That's why I was like, I ain't gonna do no crack this time. Like, I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna just try to okay. thug it out. Just sort of throw that. Yeah. I'm done with this. I, I'm gonna wait till I'm good. <laughs> then I'll do some crack. <laughs> then when I got good, I was like, I ain't doing no crack. That's <laughs> what it did to Unk Unk Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Damn, I, that's like an episode of Power, bro. Right it was, there. it was really that. Like you don't, you don't, you don't realize that shit. And then here's, a, here's the craziest shit, right? Like the kidnapping thing. I didn't even know I had got kidnapped until like last year on tour, and I was in and being interviewed by Kev on uh, on his show. It was like, said, damn, you got kidnapped. I was like, no, actually, it was on JK News. They was like, damn, so you got kidnapped. I was like, no, I was, I was like, I was like, uh, I was like thirteen. It was like <laughs> you were still kidnapped. You were held against your will. And I was like, damn, I guess. I guess I was kidnapped. I, I, was I just always pictured it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it hit differently. I was like, ah, oh, damn. I guess I was, but I didn't. Like, you don't realize your norm is somebody else's. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Until you get from outside of that bubble. Right. So it wasn't like till like recently that I realized how crazy it was. Like, I knew it was crazy. Like, yeah. I did some crazy, but I didn't realize how fucking like traumatic that could have been to my upbringing or like my state of mind. Yeah. Had I like been weak minded or, or just mm -hmm. easily influenced by anybody. Like I could have like, you know, that really could have fucked up some shit, but you know, shit. I didn't know, man. Well, shit, you're here now. Bro. Hey, man, we out here, bro. We out here. You know what I'm saying? I see you. We got it. the cocaine. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It? You brought the liquor. Yeah. Nikki, I don't know what you got. I don't know what I got either. <laughs> She's I'm a madam. Here. I'm here. All right. I just make a couple phone calls. You keep talking. I don't know what you want, sir. <laughs> Or I'm, I'm picking. I'm taking notes. I'm like, okay. Well, he, shit. He, he loves curry. <laughs> I do love curry, he man. Loves curry. You ever had Thai curry? Yes. Um, where was it? At? Wait, did I have Thai curry? Yes, and I think at was that night market. I don't know. It's a spot on um, Sunset, like past the comedy store and all that, <gasps> like past the Rainbow Room, all that type of shit. It's a place called Night Market. Oh, where? Uh, I think it's a it's a Thai spot, but I, I think they got. I think I had the Thai curry there before. I like the. I like the coconut curry, the green yeah. one. With yeah, the, shrimp. Oh, the that green shit one. Be so green, fire. Yeah. yeah, man. That shit hit different over in Japan, bro. I ate that like four days in a row. I love Japanese yeah. curry. Mm -hmm. That shit was fire, it's, uh, bro. It's hearty. Yeah. yeah. Compared to a lot of like, you know, I mean, you think of, you know, Japanese food, you think either ramen or sushi, right? Yeah. Sushi's like lighter. Yeah. yeah but that curry though. And that shit sit it's with like you. It's like stew. Because not yeah. only is yeah. it is it is it thick ass stew ass mm -hmm. curry, but it's also like sometimes they lay it on that that fried katsu. That, yeah, yeah, that katsu. Man, katsu. Man, that shit hit different, bro. Like I was my my wife used to tell me I had a nigga palate. Cause like I was so like chicken tenders or fried chicken or pizza. Like that was yeah. it. Like it wasn't really till I got with my wife that she like hit me to like other foods and like Word. like had me had me try shit. Cause I was just like, nah, I'm good. Like I'm I'm super low maintenance. Uh -huh. Like that's why I feel like I'm I'm in such a good place because like nobody can wave a bag of money in front of me and make me like like abandon my morals. Yeah. Like yeah. I got everything I want. I got a good yeah. family, got a crib, and I got an old school car. That's all I really that's want. That's all you right? need. And so like like she really opened my mind to a lot of different things. So I will always give her praise for that. Like like giving me different things to seek after and also helping me be a better communicator. Cause before my wife, I just, I, just, I get mad, I shut down, I don't talk. It's just gonna be tension in the house for like uh, four days. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel that. Yeah, I was like, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck out my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm but, good. Yeah, she helped me communicate. She convinced me I should give therapy a try. Cause I was like, that shit's stupid. I ain't telling no motherfucking stranger my motherfucking problem. <laughs> Fuck out of here. After one session, you're like, oh my goodness, I feel so much better. <laughs> oh my God, let me tell you something. I had on some of those Russell Simmons pants that like drop crotch <laughs> pants. I went in with some sandals and shit. I had a tank top on that didn't fit my areolas and stuff. <laughs> I felt so fucking zen the fuck out. I was drinking tea out of little shot glasses. She was like, is that soccer? It's like, bitch, this is green tea. Oh, <laughs> loose leaf. <shit>. Oh, man. <laughs> You, no, you upgraded that loose leaf. Hey, loose leaf was real. Leaf, yeah. You open the can, ain't no bags. You're like, bitch, you know what it is. I'm a loose leaf nigga. Out everything, here, man. everything you said, I was like, he's so Asian now. Oh, yeah. bro, I was hella zen now, bro. I was hella zen now. Like, yep, I got that outfit at home too. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I do. Same little cup. I know exactly what cup he's talking about. And then you ding the bell. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm going around the glass with the yeah, little stick. Sound mm. Oh my god. Oh. I was hella dated out, man. Mm. Well, shit, man. Um, you got anything you want to plug, talk about? You got coming up that we should know about? 
Um, we got my wife have a podcast coming out called More to the Story. Check that out. It's gonna be dope as fuck. Let's um go. Every Monday through Thursday, a uh, new episode of Zooming with the Homies. Wow. You got to use the yeah. lotion because if uh, when you guys get, it's all circulation. Yeah. It's all circulation. Yeah. I was like, you got to get, I get the toes I clip, I get the the, the mm-hmm. pumice scrub on there. Mm-hmm. They like work it out. Then I go to like a Thai spa, right? And go through all the different rooms and shit get like that. Get jacked off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was, was going to say, I do massages too, but they... <laughs> They don't focus on the part that hurt. They always don't focus on my dick. I'm like, uh, my back hurts, ma'am. After you finish jacking me off, please fix my back. Your massage parlors are so different than ours. Yeah. No, Yo, trust me. Yours, my- yours, yours, yours do that too. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same yeah. hand. They're, they're so everywhere. They don't even know what to ask they for. They are everywhere. The same hand. Uh, oh. Tim them told me to come here and ask for something. <laughs> they're looking like, nah, that's too complicated. We ain't fucking they're with you. They're so that's whack. expensive. They don't be taking girls. I tried to take a girl with me in Vegas. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, just Vegas. They look like Damn. I was like, you, yeah, but not her. I was like, does she want to get jacked up? Mm-hmm. All right, we were taking this from you. You uh, uh, all right, let's, let's take that again. Podcast was last ready, one, ready, bro. ready. Yeah, yeah. Just take it from all right, dog. What you what you what you got that we should be looking out for? Go. All right. Um, me and my wife have a podcast coming out called More to the Story. It's gonna be uh it's, it's really funny. Um, it's basically her being dope. And me just coming in and just doing what I can because I'm I'm glad that people are finally going to see how ridiculous she is. So it's not just me. Uh, Monday through Thursday, you got zooming with the homies. Um, you gotta get get all y'all on there, man. They all got Zoom. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm the whole cast coming on there. Uh, and then every Wednesday is a new episode of Wording Is Hard. Um, <laughs> amazing show. But get uh, me on that shit. Thursday. What you doing Thursday? This Thursday? Let me this, check my yeah, shit. Yeah, Thursday coming up right now. Let me check my shit real quick. Yeah. Um. Because let me tell you something. I I I I would I I literally have I have a dot on every day of my yeah. calendar except for this Thursday. Boom. And it's about, it's gonna be you and Leslie Jones. Okay. Oh, lit. not together, but yeah. Right okay. Cool. 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 Because yep. because here's the thing. Uh, I I like words. Yeah. <laughs> I like them too. They just don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I right, cool. well shit man. I'm excited and um thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, bro. This was a blast. And man. I appreciate you. You can take that bottle home if you want hey man it's gonna be done before the parking lot i don't have a problem i just i'm, I'm an enthusiast <laughs> oh and and we about to shoot a little patreon video after this Let's so go. it's lit um thank you for to hear more for coming on the show make sure y'all follow him on everything yeah. and uh follow all of us as well thank you for tuning in to the no chaser podcast i'm tim chantarangsu i'm ricky shirts i'm nikki blade bye